Welcome to Personal Web Tutor. The problem we have today, it says that a 50 gram super ball traveling at 25 meters per second bounces off a brick wall and rebounds at 22 meters per second. A high speed camera measures the time the ball was in contact with the wall at 3.5 milliseconds. What is the magnitude of the average acceleration of the ball during that time interval? So let's look at this. We've got here our wall. We've got the ball coming in at 25 meters per second. And then we've got the ball leaving at 22 meters per second. Keep an eye on these directions here. These directions are key to this problem. We want to be very careful. So in order to do that, I am going to say that this way is positive and this way is negative. We have to do that because these velocities are our vectors. And so the equation that comes to my mind when we have an initial velocity of 25 meters per second, we have a final velocity at minus 22 meters per second, and we've got a time which is equal to 3.5 milliseconds. This time is also written as 3.5 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. That's what milli means. So now the equation. The equation would be V final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration times the time. And we're looking for the acceleration here. So let's begin and substitute. We have the final velocity is a minus 22 meters per second. The initial velocity is 25. Yes, 25 meters per second plus the A times 3.5 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. Alright, so I'm going to subtract here this meters per second, the velocity. So I get minus 22 meters per second minus 25 meters per second is equal to that acceleration. And we got this time still. 3.5 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. So here we end up with a minus 47 meters per second is equal to A times 3.5 times 10 to negative 3 seconds. Alright, so now I'm going to take this time here and I'm going to divide it, which means I'm going to be multiplying by the reciprocal. So this stays, stays the same, minus 47 meters per second times, and I'm going to be left with 1 over 3.5 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds is equal to the acceleration. Now, notice that we have meters, seconds, and seconds. So the units are going to be equal to meters over seconds squared. This is good. That's what we want because that's what acceleration is. So next we're going to make a little room here, sorry for that. And once we do all this uh, calculation here, we end up getting 13,428.57 meters per second squared. And don't forget, this little minus sign there will also be incorporated. So what that tells us, remember we said that this way was positive and this way was negative. 
So the acceleration here is going in that direction. And that makes total sense because that's the way the ball bounces. So if you ever have any questions um, or you have a, you know some problem that you're working on and you just can't get it, you can go to our website called personalwebtutor.com and you notice there's a little link up here called ask a question and you can go here and you can put your question in here maybe you have a file you can attach a file right there um, and get that to us and you never know maybe your next question will be my next video thank you